And I'll, I may ask you some questions along the way, and that way it might pr probe like a like you know a buyer would. But well, on, on the way down, I was thinking what stories you might ask or what. What, what year? Do. What year uh, was it built? Early nineties. Okay. Ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two. It took two or three years to build. What was what was your dad's motivation for building it at the time? What was his primary? Well, he originally built it to be a family lake house. No. No. He started planning it with that notion in mind. Because we had always been on Lake of the Ozarks, which was closer to home. Right. But Lake of the Ozarks has gotten so polluted and, and populated that um, he decided he'd come to Table Rock for the clean water and clean air and, and lower population density. Sure. And he came down here and started looking and, uh, and, and started into this thing with the plan to build a family lake house. Shortly into that process, he came up and said, you know, I'm going to have this too darn nice for the to have kids and dogs and stuff in it. And he started regrouping and thinking about that. And we, we ended up, went over next door and built what we've come to call the fishing lodge, which is more of a holiday inn type facility with lots of bedrooms and, and it's all kid proof and dog proof and bulletproof and all that good stuff. Uh, and then this became, at one point it was going to become our new uh, corporate headquarters. So we made some minor revisions and, and when that deal went away, we, we went back the other way. But at one point I asked dad what he was thinking simply because he was spending so darn much money. Yeah. And because uh, he was always kind of a frugal sort. I mean, he liked nice things, had nice cars and that kind of thing, but, but he was always frugal about. So this was a little out of character for him. This was way out of character yeah. for him. Well, he reminded me of a, a story years ago. We had a, a uh, stockbroker flew in from New York City and we picked him up at the airport in Lebanon, Missouri. And we were in a Cadillac and black suits and ties and the whole nine yards. And we had our plane pick the guy up at St. Louis and fly him to Lebanon. And when he got off the plane, he said, wow, he said, I, in Missouri, I expected you guys to be in bib overalls and barefoot. <laughs> and we laughed about it and we went on to work. And uh, when I started asking Dad why he was spending so much money here, he reminded me of that story. And he said, uh, he said, you didn't know it at the time, he said, but that kind of hurt my feelings. And I said, well, why? He was just kidding. He said, yeah, but I remember a time that I was barefooted and and wore bib overalls and didn't have any choice about it. I mean, sure, that's all sure. we had. And uh, struck home then. He said, "We're going to build a place here that we can bring guests from any place in the world, and they will be suitably impressed." But he did it. Yeah, he did it.